Parshas Vayeshev, the inner dimension, insight into the weekly Torah portion by Rabbi Yitzchak Ginsburg. Parshas Vayeshev, an end to bitterness, how to exchange bitter for sweet, and how selflessness hastens the advent of Mashiach. The episode of Judah and Tamar in the Torah portion of Vayeshev is one of the most mysterious stories in the Torah. The sages teach us that while this episode took place, God was busy creating the light of Mashiach. Reading the text at the literal level reveals that Tamar was Judah's daughter-in-law, the widow of his son Er, who died because of his misdeeds. After Er, Er's demise, Judah told his second son, Onan, to marry Tamar in a leveret marriage required when a man has died without offspring. However, Onan, Onan acted in a manner unacceptable to God, and he also died without begetting children, leaving Tamar a widow once more. Upon seeing this without realizing that his sons had died as punishment for their sins, Judah was reluctant to have this third son, Shelah marry Tamar. He feared that Shelah might suffer the same fate as his two older brothers. When Tamar realized that Judah was withholding Shelah from her, she disguised herself as a prostitute and waited for Judah to pass by. Judah was allured by Tamar without recognizing her. From their union, the twins, Peretz, and Zerah were born. Peretz was the predecessor of the royal dynasty of Jewish kings that began with King David. It is from this lineage that Mashiach will be born. Exchanging bitter for sweet. This account of Judah's complex relationship with Tamar requires careful examination. Turning our focus to Tamar, who actively initiated the episode, we will meditate on her name. In Hebrew, Tamar is a date palm, the seventh and final species with which the land Israel of Israel is blessed. It is also the root of the word exchange. Timura. Alternatively, we can divide the name Tamar into two words, Tam, Mar. Tam, complete, and bitter, Mar. This alludes to the completion or the end of bitterness, like a date palm, which can turn an arid wilderness into a flourishing oasis. Tamar knew how to exchange bitter for sweet. The date palm thrives on salt, bitter, water, transforming it into a honey-sweet fruit. Some of the events in this story are bitter pills to swallow, beginning with Aaron and Onan's sins and their subsequent deaths, and concluding with Judah's own questionable behavior. Tamar's act presents a clear example of turning the bitterness of death into the ultimate rectified sweetness of redemption. The light of Mashiach is the sweet fruit that emerges from the bitterness. Tamar is the origin of Mashiach's level of consciousness which transforms darkness into light and the bitter into sweetness.